all men do not cheat. And I think that there's an awful lot of men out there that would take offense to the idea that anybody would think that all men cheat. And the reason I'm talking about this is because I've talked to several female clients who have just accepted the fact that their boyfriend or husband or lover or, or even, you know, baby daddy cheats on them constantly and always has other women. And they, they chalk it off to, oh, all men cheat. All men, no men are capable of being faithful and, and that's how it is. Well, that's how it is for some men. And if that's been your experience, because you're picking that kind of man. So I promise you, I've coached an awful lot of men who have said to me that they absolutely believe in monogamy and that they only want one person. So they are out there and they're, they're more than you would think. So. Do not sell yourself short putting up with someone who's unfaithful to you if that's painful to you because it's just that you're making a choice of that kind of man. And you need to really look at the kind of person that you're attracted to and you can change that. You have to look for someone who doesn't believe in cheating. Maybe somebody who's, who's been in a family where there was cheating and they recognized how much pain it caused, then they go the other way with it. Or, you know, someone who's raised with someone who cheated, then that's their paradigm. That's what they know, and they repeat that behavior. Some study came out several years ago that tried to say that, oh, there's a gene that causes you to cheat, and that men have this gene, and if you have it, oh, well, you just cheat. That's bull, because everybody has free will, and it's a choice. Cheating is a choice, and we all have free will over it. I mean, look, people with very strong addictions to drug and alcohol stop drinking that, and for the rest of their lives, never take another drink. And actually, to be honest, like I have a brother who has been clean and sober for going on 27 years now. I could not be more proud of him. He knows that it's not good for him and he stays away from it. And it's the same concept with cheating. I mean, I don't, I don't mean to minimalize alcoholism in, in any way, but like, you know, they, there's a gene for that too. And they say that that's something that you're born with and that you're born with that addictive drug, but you can guide it in other directions. You know, like my brother I'm very proud of is now addicted to working out, right? He's in such great shape. He looks amazing. He's really healthy. He eats really well and he exercises constantly. That's his new addiction, taking care of himself. That's a good one. So I don't mean to get off on a tangent, but what I'm trying to say to you is, is that everybody has free will and they make their own choices. And if they're choosing to cheat, well, then that's their choice. And that's their lack of character, in my opinion. And do not accept that, ooh, all men cheat because it's how they're biologically programmed. That's bull. They are not biologically programmed to cheat. It's a choice and a lack of character. So if you're with a man that you're accepting that he's cheating because you think that all men cheat, think again and go out and start talking to other men. Talk to married men, talk to friends, talk to, like, not all men cheat, I swear to you.